Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. It is Truck Series Friday. We are starting off the 2024 season tonight at Daytona, but before we get all that action rolling, we're going to review the Ben Rhodes Charlotte race win from 2023. So your 2023 champion's first win of last season came at Charlotte, and uh, we're going to take a look at the race version before tonight's race, and... Uh, Boy, am I excited. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's slide the truck out of the way and look at the box. Standard box for the 2023 race wins. Uh, we've got the Camping World, or sorry, Camping World, no, Craftsman Truck Series uh, logo there, the 2023 race winner, raced version uh, down there. We got our 75th anniversary logo in the middle, Lionel Racing, 2023 race win sticker, all that jazz. There you see the render of the truck and Thor Sport Racing standard finish. One of 600 for the Campers Inn RV Charlotte win 2023 F-150. So, 600 total. Now, let's go ahead and see what it comes with. It comes with a red winner sticker here. You'll see that it's got the nice car 75th anniversary diamond. And then we also have the stat card here, which is the North Carolina Education Lottery 200, May 26th, 2023, Concord, North Carolina. Here you can see he started 19th on the night, uh, led 37 laps, won by 2.3 seconds. Five cautions, 32 laps. So let's go ahead now and dive right in because this car is bright. It's that Kubota orange color, even though it's not a Kubota uh, truck this time around. But we do have the uh, Honor and Remember tires on all four of these Goodyears. So we got Goodyear, and then instead where it says Eagle, it says Honor and Remember. Uh, so we do have those. They are a little rubbed up on the left front. Not as bad on the left rear. Uh, we got Craftsman there, but we do have the blue star on the banner, so it is kind of that specialty banner that runs. Uh, we got some sponsors right up there on the top. You can see it right around the roof camera. We got Ford and then Camper, I think it's called Camper's Inn RV. Uh, here we see Camper's Inn RV on the back, and then we've got Tenda. Uh, not too much on the left rear corner, not bad. We got that little yellow dot here on the back corner of the cab that's actually all completely normal for the thor sport trucks uh we go we got some confetti very colorful confetti all around it's not very heavy you can see it's just kind of scattered lightly uh, which is kind of funny because i can go all the way back to 2015 when casey kane had a race win from this race and his has the exact same type of confetti so kind of neat uh this one good years look really good nice and clean you can see a couple little marks there but not too bad um, you can see a little rubber buildup here on the left front or the right front corner. We got our honor and remember uh, tires, and uh, we have a visitor. Uh, this is becoming a theme. And there goes everything off the top of the uh, desk here. One more video. I'm going to have to let him down because he's just being a problem. Anyway, um, now that he's knocked stuff over again, uh, you can see we do have the uh, campers in. We've got Tenda, uh, one little wheel mark there. We go to the very back. we got Rhodes on the rear window. Campers in here on the back. And then a little bit of bumping that took place and left a little mark on the rear bumper, but not too bad. Um, but overall, the car, the truck is really neat. See, like I said, it, it was the only one that we thought he was going to win until uh, Phoenix. I, I can't remember if he had to win Phoenix or if he just had to place well um, at Phoenix. I can't, I don't remember what the results of Phoenix were. But I know he got the Truck Series Championship after uh, Haim and Hosevar decided to just crash each other like a bunch of clowns and uh, cost Infinger his championship. So, uh, yeah, that's great and all, but... Anyway, uh, overall, it's a pretty good-looking truck. I know somebody out there has already got this spoken for, so it'll be uh, actually shipping out the day before this video is posted. Uh, that's why I'm recording it so late at night and why the cat has been uh, bothering me for my last two videos. So if you haven't already seen the uh, Martin Truex Jr. Dover one, uh, he'll be in that video as well because he is continuing to really need attention. Uh, so anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up the video. Hope you guys are ready for Daytona this weekend. Um, but if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell. We will be live on Sunday for the Daytona 500. But other than that, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next one.